The Law Behind Chesty While travelling around Albion, you may come across an invitation to meet Chesty, a living, homicidal and sociopathic chest that likes to cut off the legs of adventurers for fun. His original motive? To become their super best friend and stay with them forever. Seemingly innocent, but absolutely far from it. So where did Chesty come from? Many years before Oakvale was tragically turned into Wraith Marsh, there was a little girl called Myrtle, who was constantly bullied by the other children, until one day, the children went too far and killed her. Her teacher, Madame Ursula, discovered her body and believed it to be an accident, although she had her doubts as the children still had wicked smiles instead of the normal emotions of remorse and regret. Myrtle's body was hidden in a toy chest, but unknown to her killers, this chest had a magical origin. The chest absorbed her soul, and Myrtle became something so much more, a vengeful and malevolent but playful spirit, and he called himself Chesty. Now a powerful spirit, Chesty invited his killers to a tea party. Unknown to them, Chesty was serving food and drinks laced with arsenic, and they all died. With the ability to move between realms, Chesty brought their souls to Nightmare Hollow, where they would be his super best friends forever. He then leaves notes around Albion for adventurers to find inviting them to be his super best friend, using items as conduits to transport them to his realm. The hero of Bowstone discovers one of these conduits, the Nightmare Bed, in Brightwood Tower after Garth brings it there to study. Using the bed, the hero is transported to Nightmare Hollow, where he is transformed into a child and meets Chesty. Chesty offers the hero a game. If the hero beats the game, he gets a prize. But if he loses the game, he will bleed a lot and be eaten by worms and become another of Chesty's super best friends. Using the souls of his previous victims, he attempts to murder the hero using waves of creatures so that he will die and stay there forever and ever. One of these waves being a banshee and her children, formerly Chesty's teacher and murderers. Defeating Chesty's super best friends, Chesty allows the hero to leave with a prize, keeping his word. He gives the hero the Diamond of Sorrow, which he claims is a piece of his broken heart, a last chance to manipulate the hero into staying. It is noted that 50 years later, Chesty is encountered by the child of the hero of Bowstone when he visits Sunset House, which Chesty had somehow acquired over the years. He plays chess with him and uses creatures as pawns to kill the hero in an attempt to claim his soul so that they can become the bestest super best friends. Before this, it is likely that Chesty had killed unsuspecting adventurers that were not able to fight back. It is also rumoured that Chesty's physical form can be seen within a mirror inside of Sunset House. Over the years, Chesty has left notes all around Albion. One left previously on Clockwork Island, where he left a note claiming that he wanted souls. Seen as a completely malevolent being that enjoys torturing adventurers and claiming their souls in his realm. Chesty also has a softer side, a childlike innocence, where all he wants are friends to play with, likely because of the awful and horrid death that Myrtle experienced when he was a mortal being. In a way, Chesty was a victim looking for revenge of his killers, which simply got out of hand when he began looking for a super best friend 
that he never got to have when he was alive. And so I ask, could you be Chesty's super best friend? Hello heroes, thank you for watching this little episode on our super best friend Chesty. What did you think? This was a more fun episode, although shorter. As always, like, share and subscribe if you found this interesting. Join our discord. Now, enjoy your day. Bye.